It's not looking good for these people. It is not looking good for these people. These people done fucked up their whole bank account. They done messed up everything that they had going for them. Because, like I said, for some of y'all, like, if this was, like, family members, if this was, let's just say, if this was your family members, these people will never be able to make it right with you. Because these are people that God specifically told you to cut off. And you knew something, but you just couldn't put your hand on it. You knew that they were up to something, but you just, it's like you didn't really know for sure. But it's like you knew better than to like keep keep them around. It's like you knew better than that. So for some of these people, you have already distanced yourself from them. And now that the shit is hitting the fan, a lot of these people, they want to come back. They want to come back. They want to be a part of what you got going on because they knew and they know that they cannot hurt you. So now it's like they want to solve the issue. They want to resolve the conflict with you. They want to get back in your good graces, but it ain't going to never happen. It ain't going to never happen. It ain't going to never happen because you already know. <laughs> it's like spirit already gave you that warning about them. Spirit already gave you that warning. For others of you, if this is like your friends, let's just say this is a group of friends that it's like they, they wanted you. I don't even think that you collaborated or got together with these friends like that. I think they wanted you to be a part of their friend group, but you declined them. You told them no. So when you told these people no, they was like, okay, you don't want you, this. Like they were shocked because... For some of these people, they can be like, you know, maybe they have some type of like influence. Maybe they have some type of, you know, something like that. Maybe they're very popular people in the community or something like that. And you told these people no. By you telling them no, that's what triggered them to want to go against you and work against you in your own community. And now they all sitting around trying to figure out why the hell it's not working. Because God already gave you the insight on these people. God already told you, don't deal with them. Don't be their friend. So anything that they try to do is, is never going to work. It's never going to work. And see, the thing is about these people, they don't want to be seen. It's like they don't want nobody to know what they've been doing. So they're not going to do nothing obvious. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do nothing obvious to where, uh, you know, everybody know what's going on. And they're not going to do no shit like that. They're not going to do no shit like that. But I'm telling you. That's the reason why they can't get you how they want to get you because they know that if they make any type of sudden move that's obvious, everybody is going to know. They know they're going to get exposed. They know they're going to get exposed for real, for real. And these people, they're not trying to go to jail like that. They're not trying to do no time like that. They're not trying to, you know what I'm saying? So they're not going to, they're going to keep walking past you like you don't know what happened or you don't know what they've been doing. And they're going to try to keep that shit under wraps for as long as they can. But you already know. <laughs> Spirit said you already know. Whoever these people are, you already know what they've been doing. You already know. And these people are about to literally hit rock bottom. They about to, they about to take the biggest loss ever. Whatever it is, it could be in their work, in, the, in their job. Some of these people about to lose their homes. Some of them about to lose like, like, Let's just say they are very, like, influential people, right? The people that was looking up to them, they these people are about to start realizing that, oh, no, uh-uh, we can't, you know, they about to realize that these people been leading them down a rabbit hole. I'm telling y'all, this is, this shit is funny. This shit is hitting the fan right now. It's funny. It's, it's going down. These people really thought that they were going to get away with this. And, and I'm telling you, they can't be obvious with it. They can't be obvious with it because they already know. It's like if they try anything too loud, that's automatically, uh, automatic guilt, guilty for them. It's automatic. But by you knowing, that's what's saving you. By you listening to your discernment and, and using your discernment, listening to your intuition, it is literally saving your life. It's saving you from traps. It's saving you from setups. It's saving you from, I'm telling you, that's why it's so important. It is so important when, when God tells you something, when God puts something on your heart, it is so important for you to listen to that. It's not a game. It's not a game.
I'm telling you, it is not a game. When God say, don't fuck with them people, don't fuck with them, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When God say, you know, don't go there, don't go here, you need to listen. It's very important. It's very important. Because somebody here, <laughs> I'm telling you, be, just because you've been listening to your intuition, you've been literally avoiding these traps that these people, and they've been very persistent. That's the word that God used persistent they've been very persistent with trying to do this and they've been using different people it's like they've been using it's groups of them so they've been they've been using different people out the group to do this to you so that it, it won't be obvious you know like i said they've been taking turns these people been taking turns they've been taking turns doing this shit i'm telling you and now see now the tables is turning and now the shit is hitting the fan because they, it's like they have exhausted their resources. These people are like, oh my God. It's, it's like at this point, it's nothing else they can do. It's nothing else they can do. They done tried every single trick in the book. And because of you being very intuitive, because of you being very smart and you look into shit. You research things, you, you Google shit, whatever it is, because of your intelligence. This is what's saving you right now. This is what's saving you right now. I'm telling you, this shit is, it's so crazy, y'all. This is, this is so crazy. I'm telling you, it's like these people feel like fools. But, but see, they think that it's going, once, you know, once they decide to leave you alone, they think it's going to stop right there. But no, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. See, these people's karma is out of your control and it's out of their control. God is really about to rip these motherfuckers apart right now. I'm telling you, everything is about to be exposed. And if some of the things they've done don't get exposed, it's going to affect them in other areas of their life. Like, for an example... It's like they're going to see a major, like, crash in their life. That's what I heard. These people are about to crash out. They about to crash out. That's, that's all I kept hearing. They about to crash out. They about to crash out. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Wow. Yes. These people is about to crash out. And it's nothing they can do about it. Nothing. Yep. It ain't nothing they can do about it. Because it's like they were warned. After all the first tries. After all the first. It's like they did this shit so many times. They did it so many times. They tried every single area of your life. Everything. And God said the whole time you was just like. Because a lot of y'all. And it's so sad. It's so sad, but a lot of y'all had no idea that these things was happening to you. So the whole time they doing what they doing, it's like, you just, you know, you thinking like, okay, I'm just going through some shit right now. So not knowing that it's people behind the scenes that's being corrupt and they doing shit to make you experience delays. They're doing things to slow you down. But the whole time you just like, okay, God, I understand it's, it's your timing. Whenever my time come, my time come. That's the way that you was looking at it. But see, now, they time, they time is up. <laughs> they time is up. They time is up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Some of you guys, if you've been experiencing delays, I'm telling you, things are about to start picking up for you. You're getting ready to start moving forward, okay? It's not about to be like it was. A lot of these people are getting ready to get locked up. They going to jail. And it's, it's for some of y'all, it's going to be spiritual jail, where they're going to be experiencing like poverty and a lack of money and, you know, rejections as far as like they're going to be getting declined for things back to back to back. They're not going to experience any type of growth in their life. I'm telling you, these people about to go down. It's about to be a big, big storm for these people. And I'm telling you right now, don't even, it's spirit wants you to continue to move forward gracefully continue to move forward even though you may be frustrated even if you may feel like things are not going the way that you wanted to go or things are moving too slow 
sometimes the way God works, it's like certain people got to certain people got to go. Before you reach a certain level of success, certain people got to go. So certain people got to be removed out of your way. I'm telling you, let God remove them. Let God get these people out of your way so that you can move forward in peace. I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't lose your patience with what it is that you're doing because you feel like it's not working out. It is working out. It is working out. You just had to stay focused. That's it. Just stay focused. Do not give up. Do not lose hope. I'm telling you, it's groups of people that are literally being removed out of your life right now so that you can move forward. So that you can move forward without any type of delays or any type of mishaps. I'm telling you, and, and God already know, God knows that it's been hard. God knows that it's been, you know, hard for you with whatever it is that these people have been doing. Because like I said, for some of you guys, it's, it's either a group of friends, a group of people that you work with, or it's like a, a family members, whatever it is. It's like God knows. God knows that it's been hard for you. And let me tell you, that's the reason why none of this shit that they did was able to affect you the way that they wanted it to. Nothing that they did was able to hurt you, harm you, affect you the way that they wanted to. I'm telling you, you got to trust and you got to believe that. You got to believe that. I'm telling you, you got to believe it. You got to believe it. I'm telling you, it's like somebody must have said a prayer for God to remove those obstacles. And God just put this on my heart. Like, look, let them know these people are about to be knocked down. But God already wants, it's like he wants you to know you already knocked these bitches down single handedly. And you wasn't even trying to. You didn't even have to lift a fucking finger. These people literally took themselves out just by them going against you. Just by them fucking with the wrong one. I'm telling you, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't fuck with the wrong one. They didn't fuck with the wrong one. But guess what? Guess what? When God say it's a certain time that you have to complete an assignment, when God say it's a certain time that you got to be at a certain place, he don't give a fuck who in the way. They going to get knocked off, removed, ran over, ran over. I'm telling you, these people about to get, I'm telling you, y'all, you might as well just sit back and just let it, keep going with the flow. Keep going with the flow. Keep letting everything happen how it's happening. Because whoever these people are for you in your life, you know, and, and I know, I know how it feel. I know it hurt. I know it hurt because, you know, like I said yesterday, you will never do these things. You know, you'll never be as corrupt and team up with people. And you will never think that people will go to the extremes that they go to try to stop somebody from achieving their success. But I'm telling you right now, what's meant for you, nobody can stop it. What's meant for you, nobody can take it away. When God says something is yours, I promise you, you're going to get it. I promise you, you're going to get it. And it ain't, a, it ain't a damn thing. It ain't a damn thing not a soul can do. That's why sometimes, you know, you just got to laugh at the shit. You just got to laugh at people like, boy, if you, if you know. If you know how God be standing 10 toes behind you, if you know how God be protecting you and having your back, you should be laughing at these bitches. You know they about to get their ass beat. You know they about to get stomped out, packed out. <laughs> you know they about to get packed out, period. And that's why I'm just, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, sit back and watch. Y'all, y'all are going to be seeing like shit happening on the news. Y'all going to be seeing groups of people being taken down. This could even be people in the higher ups. This could be family members, people that you never even would have thought of working together. They about to be taken down. They about to be taken down. And God already, God already said it. God already, he already stamped it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for them. It's a wrap for them. It is a wrap for them, y'all. I'm telling you. So keep going with the flow. God God told me straight up, you was able to really, 
You stood in the middle of the situation and was completely unbothered. You were unbothered. If they were trying to do anything to stop your finances, God still made a way. You were still eating. It didn't affect you the way that they expected it to. See, they were expecting you to tap out by now. They was expecting you to tap out by now. These people was expecting you to just end it all by now. You're not even supposed to be, you're supposed to be in a whole different mind state right now. But for some reason, you are unbothered. You are untouched. You are blessed. You have every single thing that you need. And they can't take it, y'all. They can't take it. They can't take it, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I and see, God, God also told me once this backfired, the mental, the, it's like their mental health by them. It's like by, I guess by it being so many of them against one person, it would never sit well with them. It would never sit well with them how you were able to still survive. It will never sit well. It's going to drive them bitches crazy. I'm telling you. It is going to drive them bitches crazy how it took all of them. It took all of them to try to take one of you down. And it didn't work. It didn't work. Imagine that. Imagine the nightmares they about to have. Imagine the sleepless nights. It's like these people about to dry they fucking self up a wall and nobody coming to save them bitches. They don't even like each other no more. Everybody is, the only reason why they teamed up because they had a common enemy, you. That's the only reason why they teamed up. Now they can't even stand to be around each other. They can't even stand to look at each other. They don't want to fuck with each other now. Because see, all these bitches really thought that they was geniuses. They thought they was masterminds. They really thought that... <laughs> oh, this shit so... <laughs> These people really thought that they really was masterminds. But they did not know. Baby, it, it's one thing being a mastermind. But it's another thing when you have discernment. It's another thing when you know how to listen to your intuition. And you have a connection to God that is so strong. And you listen and, and you you avoid traps every single day because you already know what time it is. You already know. You already know. You already know. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the, the, the result of this is what's going to drive them crazy. The result of this, them seeing you move forward, these people seeing you... Head towards calmer waters. Things are about to start getting easier for you. Things are about to start flowing again for you. There's getting ready to be movement in your life. So get prepared. There's getting ready to be movement. Things are getting ready to flow again. Abundance is coming in again. Because right now, see, God had to let that, that situation happen. God had to let it happen so that it could play out. See, God does things sometimes just so... The enemy can watch it play out and not go in their favor. See, this is about to be the biggest bruise to their egos, man. It's about to be many ego debts. Many of them. Many of them. And, and, and this is going to teach these bitches a valuable lesson. Stop fucking playing. Stop playing. Know who you playing with. <laughs> know who you playing with. Because some people are just not, they, they, they not the one. They not the one. They didn't know that. They didn't know that about you. They thought you was just a regular degler. They thought you was one of them. But I'm telling you, these bitches is getting a rude awakening right now. They finding out who you really are. They finding out you don't need an army. <laughs> I just heard, I don't need no army, Mr. Smartass. <laughs> These people finding out you don't need nobody. You, you man, I can't even. Now they gotta sit up here and watch you move forward. Now they gotta sit up here and watch you still get 
what they tried to block. They got to sit here and still watch you get what they tried to block you from getting. And it's going to eat their ass up. And I'm telling you, if this is people like, let's just say this is people in your community. For some of y'all, you got a corrupt, you may live in like a corrupt community with neighbors and stuff like that. God said these people going to be so scared. Them bitches, you ain't going to never see them. You ain't going to never see them. When you come, them bitches going to get the scattering like roaches. When you pull up to the scene, you ain't going to, man, them bitches going to be running, running. Them bitches ain't going to want no parts, no parts. I'm telling you, they not going to want no parts in seeing you being around you. And they don't want none. They don't want none of this shit no more. I'm telling you, they try to go, they, they try to go to war with a child of God. You try to go to war with a child of God. Now these bitches so scared. These bitches is shook. These bitches is shook it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When and if this is family members, baby, you. <laughs> these people are about to watch you succeed and take your your children, if you have any, to the next level, and they about to be sitting in poverty. They about to still be in the projects. They still going to be in the trenches. These bitches still going to be where you grew up at while you moving up in life. Man, it's, it's going down, y'all. It's going down. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They should have never fucking did that. They should have never did that. They should have never fucking did that. I'm telling you. Whoever these people are for you, because it's different for everybody. Whoever they is. They shouldn't have never did what the fuck they did because God is about to come through. God is coming through on your behalf and he wiping these bitches out. And they looking at you, they looking at you like, oh my God. You got these bitches shook because they had no idea how protected you were. They had no idea how much protection was around. They was looking at you because they feel like you always by yourself. You ain't got no family. You always by yourself. You live by yourself. Some of y'all live by yourself. They felt like they could do this shit to you because they don't see you with nobody. But they just didn't know you had a whole fucking army surrounding you. <laughs> they just didn't know that you had spirit guys all around you. Seven days a week, <laughs> seven days a week, all day long. You always got somebody around you. That's what they don't understand. That's what they don't understand. Look, I know when I, every time I go sit in my backyard, y'all, I see these big ass birds outside. I already be knowing. It's like they only show up when they, when, when God got a message for me. They only show up when God is warning me. So when I see them big ass birds, it's time to go to war. It's time to go to war. I already know what time it is. It's time to go to war. And guess what? I'll be, I be like, all right, say less. Say less. Let's go. Let's go. See, and the reason why God be protecting you so much, because he already know that you really with the shits. And he don't want to see nothing happen to you. He already know that if he let you loose on these bitches, you going to fuck around and kill all of them. He already know. He already know. He already know. He don't want to see you go out like that because he got a, he have a purpose for you. He have a purpose for you. He have a, he have an assignment for you that you have to complete. So he's going to do everything in his power to protect you and to keep you safe at all times. I'm telling you, he already know what you will do to these bitches. And they already know too. They already know too. That's why it takes so many of these bitches to try to take you down. They can't do it by themselves. They can't. And they couldn't even do it with all of them. So now they really shook. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if some of these people may try to all of a sudden everybody friendly. All of a sudden everybody your friend. All of a sudden everybody cool now. 
Don't be surprised because all of a sudden everybody feel like they want to they wanna get close to you now. Fuck that. Keep them bitches away. Keep them bitches away. The only reason why they trying to link up now is because them bitches is scared of you. They scared of you. They shook. They shook. They don't want no more smoke. They don't want no more smoke. <laughs> they don't want no more smoke because God done put his foot up their motherfucking ass. And they don't want no more smoke with you, baby. They can't handle it. They can't take the heat. Now they ready to run the fuck out, out the kitchen. Now they ready to run out the kitchen. They can't take the heat no more. Now they crying and shit. Trying to figure out what they gonna do. What they gonna do. I don't know who you crying to. Because God don't want to hear that shit. What's wrong with these people? It's like they always want to do some stupid ass shit and then won't cry to God. What you crying for? Take that shit the, the same way you dished it out. Take that shit. Take it, take it, take it. And, the, and ain't no coming back. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no coming back. You homeless or you ain't got nowhere to stay? Oh, fucking well, bitch. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, you losing money? Oh, your work slowing down? Oh, well. Oh, oh well. Oh, well. Okay? That's on them. These bitches made they bed. Now they got to fucking lay in it. They got to lay in it. I'm telling you, they got to lay in it. And it's so sad. Some of y'all about to be rich. Some of y'all about to be, or you're getting ready to be at a point in your life where you're financially secure. And your family members going to be struggling. Your family members about to be out here struggling. Struggling. And they know you doing good. They know you got it. They know you got it. And you know the fucked up part about it? They know that you was the one that would have helped them out. They know that. They know that. So that's why I just can't even understand why the fuck would they try to do you like that? Why would they try to do you like that? And you the one that was, you the one that really would have came through for them bitches. You the one that really would have helped them bitches out. They only hope. Now, for some of y'all, you are these people only hope. You are their lifeline. And guess what? <laughs> they better not count on it. They better not fucking count on it. They better not count on it. It's a wrap. It is a wrap for them. It's a wrap for them. It is a wrap for these people. I'm telling you. They done fucked around and they done really found out this time. They done found out this time. Because... Spirits say they kept using the same. For some of y'all, they kept, they they tried it. Whatever they were doing, the, the risk, that's what I'm going to call it. The risk that they were taking was, it was constant. It was persistent. They kept doing it over and over and over again. Because see, they wanted you to take yourself out the game. They wanted you to fall back. They wanted you to stop. They wanted you to quit. They wanted you to give up. They wanted you to end your life, end it all. These people wanted to drive you crazy. But guess what? Now they about to go crazy. These people about to lose their motherfucking mind. They about to lose their mind. They about to lose their mind. Because they, I'm telling you, it is not going to sit well with them. You're, what, what they did to you, it's about to wake them up on a whole nother level. Because not only the thing that's waking them up is the fact that it didn't work. Every single thing. Because some of these people been doing this shit for years. Some of them been doing this shit for years. Spirits say, not only is it going to fuck them up mentally. The fact that you didn't give up or you didn't quit or they didn't take you out. But the fact that they did this. They did this with your enemies. They did this with your eyes. Man, these the ops linking up. These people linked up with your opposition. These people linked up with people that they know that you don't fuck with. It's like they'll never be able to show their face again. They'll never be able to show their face again. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They will never, ever come back from this shit. Ain't no coming back from this shit what they done did. And a storm... Is coming and is headed their way. And a lot of these people, Lord forbid, but I gotta, I'm telling you, when I feel these things, I remember back when I was doing the readings, 
back, I think that was back in 2021, and I said a storm is coming and people about to lose shit. And when I say a storm really came, <laughs> a storm really came and wiped them bitches out, a storm is coming. A storm is fucking coming, and it is about to wipe your enemies the fuck out. And it's nothing, it's no saving them. It's no saving them. It is no saving them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. For some of y'all, this is a literal, a literal storm. Literally, a real storm. Okay? I'm I'm getting tornadoes and all kind of shit. Yeah. I'm I'm getting wildfires and all type of shit. For some of y'all, this is like a, a financial storm. Poverty. These people are, have restricted themselves to poverty. And some of these people had good jobs. Some of these people had money. They'll never be able to see that type of money again. They'll never see that type of success and get that type of recognition or attention ever again. These people are getting ready to lose everything. Everything. And I'm telling you, man, all you got to do is keep going with the flow. God already know how this shit has been disturbing your peace. But the way that you handled this shit, the way that you stayed strong and you just kept going, the way that you just, you know, even, for, like I said, some of y'all knew and some of y'all didn't know. But for the ones that knew, man, you really, you imagine, imagine living in a community and you know they all against you. You know they all working against you. You see the shit that they doing, but you don't say nothing every day. Every day. Every day. Imagine that. Imagine this being your family when you see these people all the time and they smiling in your face. They smiling in your motherfucking face and the whole time they linking up with the ops. They linking up with the exes and shit like that to try to take you down. Imagine that. Imagine that. These people are going to have to live with this shit. They're about to have to live with this shit for the rest of their life. And it's, 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 God keeps telling me it's coming down on them so hard because you get to move on. You get to get those promotions. You get to get everything that they try to take from you. Everything that they try to block, you still get it. You still reach that level. You still accomplish those goals. They have stopped nothing. Nothing. And that is what's really going to tear they motherfucking heads apart. I'm telling you. That is really what's going to tear them apart. They, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. I'm telling you. They can't handle this. This storm that's coming in for, for these motherfuckers, they can't handle it. And if this is people that's in a, a work environment, if this is people that work with you, guess what? Everybody is about to see these people for who they really are. Everybody is about to really wake up and see these motherfuckers for who they are. They're going to start losing their job. Some of these people going to start losing clients. Okay? They're going to start losing friends, people that trusted them. I'm telling you, man, it's about to go down. That's why sometimes you just got to you just got to take it on the chin. Take it on the chin and keep it moving, especially if you know that you're not hurting nobody, especially if you know that you're moving out here in the right way. You ain't never got nothing to worry about. As long as you're doing right, you ain't got You ain't never got to worry about nothing. Karma is going to always go in your favor when you ain't did a motherfucking thing to deserve what happened to you. You're going to always be vindicated. You're going to always come out on top. It's nothing they can do. It's nothing they could do about this. The only thing they could do, because Spirit told me straight up, it's out of your control and it's out of theirs. Nobody, it's nothing nobody could do. This karma, this wrath that they're about to experience, boy, good luck. Good luck. And that's, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. God wanted me to tell y'all this message, and this is pretty much all I got to say about it. This corrupt group of people is going the fuck down and ain't no coming back from it. That's the message that I have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.